Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you're new here, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This video is a little bit different. I am trying to do a little bit more videos where it's like exploring my life rather than just fashion related. So we are back with the fitness content because you know I'm all about creating those healthy habits and I've had so many questions recently about weight loss and habits I've changed. So I thought let's do a sit down YouTube video. But I just wanna clarify before I get into this video that I'm not promoting weight loss at all. I haven't lost weight and I'm not trying to actively lose weight. So before anyone comes for me and been like, oh my god you know you've changed who you are that is not the case at all and i really believe that body positivity isn't about promoting an unhealthy lifestyle that is definitely not what it's about we are not trying to you know promote people to eat unhealthily and live an unhealthy life that's definitely not the case for me that is something that i really just want to stress in this video i am definitely not concentrating on appearance i am concentrating on health and that is something that from lockdown with the weight gain and trying the home workouts which if you've not seen that video already you can go look down below i just hate it i'm just not a person that can work out in the house i like to either go for a walk or go to the gym um it's something that i did struggle with because i gained two and a half stone in total over that period of time because I wasn't as active as I was in a natural normal scenario where we weren't locked in the house. So obviously as my life returned and is returning to normal because of things opening up because of lockdown and whatever, naturally I am going to lose weight because before I obviously had a more active lifestyle than sitting on the sofa. Since then as well, we've also got a dog, Max, which again, if you don't know, there's a video about Max and how he came into our life. Um, so now he can go for a walk. I'm obviously being more active again because he needs to go out for a walk and I need to take him for a walk. And it would be very unfair of me to sit on the sofa watching TV when Max wants to go for a walk. So again, naturally over this period of time and moving forward, I am probably going to lose weight because my day to day again has changed from what it was in lockdown. So that's number one thing I really want to get off my chest. Number two is I am now 32 years of age. I'm actually not actively wanting to get pregnant at the moment, but I have spoken to a fertility doctor because, you know, as you get older, it's something that's always on your mind and you're like, right, am I being selfish by holding off having kids yet? Will I regret this later on in life? So I have had an appointment with a fertility specialist. I'm not going to go into detail because I feel like that's very private to my life and I don't feel like I need to share every single thing online um, but one of the things that was brought up was my weight gain he asked me a question am I actually actively living a healthy lifestyle and in that moment I could honestly say I wasn't I was eating way too many takeaways and just not really being that active um, I just really fell out of love with exercising and I just in that moment thought what am I doing like why am I just constantly making excuses for work and I do have a very full-on work schedule um, and I almost use that as an excuse sometimes to not exercise or to not go for a walk or not to do things because I am so busy all the time but at the end of the day in any scenario whether you work in an office if you're working in school if you're working in the hospital whatever your job is if you're not prioritizing your health there's only so much you can give of yourself after a while and then you will just burn out and you will be unhealthy and you won't be able to do your job so they go hand in hand in my opinion and that's something that I've really changed since December um, after Christmas I made a conscious effort that I was not going to make any excuses and on my like tree of things that are important in life then health was going to be high up on that wall which since January to now which we are in the middle towards the end of February I definitely have kept my promise to myself and really prioritized health I've been wearing my Apple watch every day I've actually changed the settings on my Apple watch because I was making it way too hard for myself, which then discouraged me. And then I thought, well, I'm never gonna be able to do that anyway. So I've changed it back down. I actually looked online at what a good idea of how much movement to do in a day. Um, I'll link that down below where I found it if you wanted to change yours. So now I'm actually completing my rings every single day, which is just so motivating in itself because before it was like to burn a thousand calories or something ridiculous, um, which obviously back pre-lockdown, I probably would have done because I was so active. I was going to the gym like four or five times a week, but my lifestyle has changed. And and yes, I am starting to be more active, but there's no way I'm going to be back into that mindset that I once was of being, you know, gym rat, shall we say. So 
What I've changed, I'm gonna put markers in here because I feel like this is gonna be really long-winded. So what I've changed so far is, December I looked and searched online for a personal trainer in Leeds. I found one that was really highly recommended for women. Really connected from what I saw of her bio online and, and I messaged her and said let's start training so I've been having two personal training sessions a week um, and they've been going really really well it is expensive and sometimes I'm like oh I could just come to the gym and do this myself I don't need to pay but there has been so many times where I know I 100% would not have trained that week if I didn't have those training sessions booked in that if I didn't turn up to I still would have had to pay the money so the accountability that having a personal trainer has it allowed me to have has then changed my mindset again where now when I get a spare minute I am wanting to exercise or get go to the gym whereas before there would have been nothing worse in my mind than going to the gym so I've reconnected with going to the gym I've started training weights again and I'm loving it I really have seen such a difference in my body shape again but I have noticed like quite a lot of people commenting on my videos and stuff being like oh you look like you've lost weight and again I wanted to just reiterate that I haven't actually lost weight it's just that I've been lifting weight so my body composition has changed because I'm no longer in a sed sedentary state body I'm in a, a light active body um, and obviously lifting weights then creates muscle mass so I'm actually gaining muscle mass which again is why I've not lost weight because I'm gaining muscle um, it's very confusing I'm definitely not the person to ask about this but that is why I might appear to some people to have physically changed and that is because I'm doing deadlifts, I'm doing squats, I'm doing um, hip thrusts, I'm doing um, lat pull downs, just loads of like different body movements that are helping me to feel stronger which I do so much and honestly I personally feel like there is no better feeling than when you've had a really hard weight training session and you leave and you're like oh my body just feels so strong but also I've got these like amazing endorphins and I just cannot tell you how much I hate any other form of exercise other than weight training. I just feel like it's one of those things where I go into that gym, I'm with my PT, and for that hour, I don't think about anything else. No work, no stress, no anything, no drama, other than what she's telling me I need to do. And again, even when I go and train on my own now, put my earphones in, I know what I'm going to do, I'm following a workout, and I, that hour is my hour to just switch off from everything. It's such an amazing feeling, especially if you're somebody who struggles with mental health, like I have anxiety, so my mind is constantly on one, especially since we've got Max, I've, my anxiety has increased so much more, like I'm just so paranoid about everything, like the front door being open or getting out of the car, like just stuff that is tormenting my mind constantly because I'm a very anxious person when I go to the gym and have that hour I'm able to just switch off and think he's fine he's safe I'm just concentrating on what I need to do in the hour and that is just so so helpful to my mental health so again if you have somebody who's watching this and you might struggle with the idea of exercising and you might be somebody who's feeling depressed right now or very anxious honestly they have scientifically proven that exercise will help you and the hardest thing to do is get going so there's been many a time, like I said, where I've thought, I just do not want to exercise today. I'm just feeling like I'm not in the mood. But I've been held accountable because I've paid the money I have to go. And that then has pushed me to do it. Got there, done it, and had the best feeling and felt so much better. Not just for that day, but for the rest of that week. And I just cannot stress enough how important exercising is to mental health. Next is diet. So again, I do not want to say that I am on a diet. I am not on a diet. I am not dieting. However, I am making healthier choices and I am trying to eat 140 grams of protein a day. So this again has been eye-opening to me into all these like habits that I got into before um, through lockdown and again working from home and just like not having any schedule and not having any routine, which I know probably a lot of you guys have as well because you've been working from home for so long. So I would work and get everything I need to get done and then think, oh, I've not eaten anything all day. It's like two, three o'clock, I've not eaten anything. I'm gonna just grab something because I'm starving. I'd eat like super noodles, I'd eat like um, toast, just stuff that was like convenient. Yes, yeah, sometimes it would be low in calories, but it wasn't a source of protein. It had no veg, it wasn't something that was a healthy balanced meal. It was just quickly eat that because you need to eat something and then crap back on. 
So since I have been working with a personal trainer, she has told me I need to eat 140 grams of protein per day. Something I have really struggled with because naturally I'm a grazer, like I just said, I'll have probably one big meal a day um, and just getting that protein in, it's just been very difficult and it's kind of just reminded me of how it used to be. But I will say there is no chance I'm eating any egg whites like I used to do, there's no chance I'm gonna be literally like, bro protein shake constantly i am just making better choices with what i'm eating so in the morning i'm having porridge with protein powder and a scoop of either nutella or some biscuit off which is such a nice breakfast because i'm not really a breakfast person and i'm just a bit like oh like sometimes i don't want to eat it whereas that because it's got like one little teaspoon of biscuit off or nutella in it it's really nice and i'm also making sure that the porridge is not like a massive portion of porridge because i just leave it every single time so i'm just having a nice small amount of porridge in the morning with that in there to start the day so that i'm getting my protein intake for my breakfast or if porridge is not for you another one is natural greek yogurt with not percent fat in you can get that from aldi and that again scoop of protein in there a teaspoon of nutella or um biscuit off spread and it just sets me off for the day and again it's not like super low in calories I'm not like restricting myself like I said before eating egg whites or just having plain yogurt like I am having a balanced lifestyle that is attainable and I'm not gonna like go off the bandwagon and and hate what I'm eating every single day like I did before um then for lunch I am having a clean kitchen meal because again like I just mentioned before I was really struggling to meal prep and just ha like of course I'm working so much in the morning before lunch whether I'm at the unit or whether I'm at home filming or just doing day-to-day -day admin stuff then having a meal is actually quite hard to be able to sit and make um, so to start with I was using Marks and Spencer's healthy balanced meals and they are really good um, and they just were costing quite a fortune because they are five pounds each from Marks and Spencer's and the sell by date is always so bad you can't freeze them they literally go off within like a day or so so unless you are close to Marks and Spencer's they weren't the most convenient but to start with they were really good I was also doing um healthy balanced meals from like the frozen section you can get like um Weight Watchers ones um which are just again a balanced meal I wasn't doing it for the low calories I was doing it because it was just convenient it was a healthy microwave meal but then I found Clean Kitchen which are actually in the gym that I train in they have like a fridge freezer in there and that's how I found them um and you can actually have these delivered and frozen um and they're in Leeds I know they might do um different parts of the UK as well so I'll link that down below if you wanted to have a look but they're just so convenient because it's a small balanced healthy lunch that I can have really like the jerk chicken ones it's got kale in it it's got nice seasoning and it's like 300 it's between 250 to 300 calories um a meal and i know that i'm getting the protein intake which is obviously what i'm prioritizing on rather than the calories so they have like 20 to 40 grams of protein in those meals for lunch then another little thing that i actually love to do is have beef jerky it's so high in protein um so i'm having that as a snack again i'm not tracking i'm not trying to promote a low calorie diet but because it is so high in protein it's actually low in calories as well so i just love to eat a full packet of jerky um, as a snack when i'm hungry i'm also having those little um protein bars which are like those um fiber one ones i'll do their own version but i also like the fiber one ones and they do like a birthday cake one and oh my god it is divine again i'm not struggling to eat any of these things because they taste really nice i don't feel like i'm on a calorie controlled diet because i'm eating things i actually would like to eat um and then for tea again i'm having protein so i'm either having chicken uh beef mince or turkey or chicken sausages um and i have like chicken sausages sometimes for breakfast as well if i want to get protein and i want some um meat rather than the porridge so i'll have like three heck chicken sausages in um a, a sandwich with some bread which again i'm having that like danish bread which i actually prefer i love it i've got butter on there i'm having foods again that i like but i'm just swapping so instead of having like four wall sausages i'm having three chicken heck sausages or four chicken heck sausages and they're so nice the frozen ones are the best i got them from iceland and they are so nice can't tell you ketchup on there nice chicken sausage sandwich so tasty then for tea we're having stuff like beef tacos um what else do we have 
I have McDonald's. I have, I'm still eating takeaways, just in moderation, one day a week. If I fancy a takeaway, I'm having a takeaway. Um, chicken, rice, fish, salmon, tuna, tuna sweet corn in a jacket potato. Um, king prawns in a stir fry like i'm having really nice balanced meals um for tea and that it tastes really nice and i still a good portion but i'm just making sure that they're high in protein and then for dessert i'm having a vionetta rip off lolly from <laughs> aldi which are like 90 calories in them or i'm having a chocolate yogurt that's 90 calories um what else am i having i'm not really i should probably have like a more protein based dessert because i am still under the 140 but sometimes like i said i'm really struggling to eat that much protein in a day um and i just want to have something that's like quite sweet and nice so sometimes i love a hot chocolate but if i was taking it like to the next level and i knew that i had to make that 140 then i'd probably put some my protein protein in there as well or i used to have cocoa pops with my, my protein put in there as well as a dessert but i'm pretty full by that point to be honest so i am trying to get the protein in there as much as possible which I think is as a mindset is so much better than really focusing on calories. And my personal trainer told me the reason behind that is because when you first start exercising again and eating healthier, naturally your fat sources will drop. So you'll start to lose weight, but you're trying to build muscle at the same time. So if you then come to this crossroad where you're not fueling yourself with enough protein, your body can't create enough muscle. So then you'll start to plateau or you'll just gain the weight back that you've lost so we're trying to build muscle by eating more protein and training twice a week at the gym weights so i hope that was quite clear in terms of what i've been doing so far there is other stuff that i'm doing in terms of exercising i've been using this app called gimondo which i've posted quite a few times on instagram just for when i need to get an idea of like a healthy meal or just to work out and quickly grab do something while i've got time and i can't get to the gym um, i'm walking more with max every day make me more active because I am obviously going for a walk and as the weather starts to get nicer, I actually do love to go for walks. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing so far. Nothing crazy. There's nothing like, you know, crazy low calorie diet. I am just making some small changes. I'm still eating McDonald's. I'm still, and McDonald's is my favorite. I, just love, I actually love the new McPlant so much. <laughs> I actually prefer that to actual cheeseburger, but I actually will have, my McDonald's order is, McPlan, large fries and chicken nuggets and I still can you know get my protein in for that day I've been having chicken dippers as my protein um, and I'm still managing to change my body composition so like I said I'm sure lots of you are also finding it too as life returns back to normal that we are changing our bodies are changing again and this is just me sharing what I have been doing and hopefully you guys see it's in a really healthy positive way and i'm not actively trying to lose weight i'm just trying to be healthier and prioritize my health for me my family and you know just overall health like i'm not concentrating on appearance i'm going on a hindu i am going on a holiday to vegas to a festival with anthony and some friends so i've got like quite a lot of beach holidays coming up but again i'm not stressing i'm not trying to think oh my god i need to have washboard abs again and like be super lean and my butt literally look like it's been carved out of stone i've got cellulite i'm gonna jiggle i'm 32 i am no longer making that kind of mindset my mindset i'm just gonna be myself i have you know a body that moves it helps me breathe and move and you know i don't care anymore about that i've got some cellulite and that i jiggle i know for a fact i will choose the right clothing for these events it's gonna make me feel so good that i don't care just like when i went to mykonos last year i chose the right clothing i felt so good and i was a size 14 so that was the biggest size i've ever been while going on holiday and i had the effing best time and that's not going to change so i am already designing some swimwear for your last style it's going to be super flattering we're actually going to go over to the manufacturers really soon and work on the designs because it's just not formulating with us being so far away um but i'm just yeah really excited about the summer coming up and i just want to focus on knowing that i am healthy and active and not out of breath when I go upstairs. So that is kind of where I am at with everything health-wise. Healthy habits are what we are all about here. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. I'll keep updating my 
journey, as we should say, and we'll go from there. But let me know in the comments what you're doing, if you found anything that's helpful, if you have taken anything from this video, or you're not about this, whatever, it's complete personal preference. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys super soon. Bye.